it's time to cheer you guys up again. <laughs> <laughs> the only happiness in your whole day. Right, from a, from a couple dead pants. <laughs> You know what Grandpa Superman always says? There's nothing better for the soul, and there's nothing better for hope but laughter. So you have to laugh, guys. No matter what's on your mind, no matter what kind of day it is, whether it's thundering lightning or gorgeous here in paradise. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Not everybody can be here. <laughs> it would just be too crowded. But no matter what it's like, wherever you are, you have to be happy. No matter what's happened in your life, you have to be happy, and you have to have hope. Hope. I am going to become an expert. I think I've always been one, but I never realized it. On love. Not really. And this is this is a little bit of seriousness to mix them. When I first met Lorraine, I was I was out of it. I was in pretty bad shape. Cheer me up as we got closer and realized that we actually like each other, uh, she would call me Romeo. <laughs> she, <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have said that. It doesn't take her long, but she, <laughs> well, I'm sorry, that's the way it was. <laughs> so I decided to call her Juliet. And, and that was like a family joke for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. And I must have, I must have read Shakespeare is not exactly the most exciting author in the world. I mean, you don't go jumping and down and down and say, Ah, oh, man, this is exciting. But that's a hell of a good story. Uh, she knew it kind of fit us, because she read it and reread it times before that. Uh, because Romeo was hesitant. For what reason <clears throat> was not described. And she kind of out, uh, used me as a uh, analogy. Is that the word? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, great. <laughs> takes a while, but sooner or later you get smart. <laughs> you just have to be patient. So there's friendship and there's love. You can't confuse the two, although many people do. Or, by some way or another, one leads to the other. <clears throat> Which is not bad. If the basis for love is there, you say basis, well, a lot of people think hell, you know, it is, you know, uh, you know, let's go out together and we'll fall in love, <laughs> or something like that. I'm just being facetious, but, but there's a lot of imitations of love, let's call it that way, uh, fantasies, uh, even, even sex is an imitation of love, it's not true love. Most cases, you know, when it's when it's over with, there is no love, and sometimes there's oh, and another thing, you can't love unless you like. You have to like a person to love a person, and I believe that wholeheartedly. Because um, in the case of Lorraine and I, um, you know, she was like an angel to me, because it's just when I needed someone, so I liked her, and I liked her. And I liked her. <laughs> and, 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 and then love was just a natural thing. So like a person before you intend or think that you love a person. When you read La Dolce Vita, this, that's um, a different kind of love affair. It's not one you read in these paperbacks that come from the author's part of a mind in which creativity exists. No. There was no creativity when I wrote that thing, book. Not thing, book. There are 75,000 words of memory. Memory. So it's quite authentic. And, and yeah, there's a love affair in there. But, it, like I said, not one of these that you read in the paperbacks, torrid, you know, hot romance. There was a lot of that, but but it, it was it was different. It was I call it upscale romance. <laughs>
And I don't want to. I don't want to say that. You know, it only happened to me. But you know, there may be there may be two billion people on this earth. But uh, anything good or anything bad when it happens to you, you keep saying, then you know, why happened to me? And that's common. Well, I, so I'm not saying that. You know, I'm the only one. I'm sure there are millions out there, and millions will be. But, uh, but you have to take love seriously. Of course, it's not a temporary thing. And as you also read in La Dolce Vita, one of the key words in the whole book was, well, it's a phrase, until the end of time. That was Lorraine's favorite saying. She made, uh, when we got married, she made the official at the marriage say, you know, instead of saying until death do his part, mm -hmm. she went until the end of time. And he said, no, that's not traditional. And, and so she asked him, you know, is there a law against it? And he said, no, there's no law. It's just traditional amongst us. She says, well, this is a new tradition. <laughs> and, and he had no, he had no uh, other alternative, no alternative but to just say, no ma'am. And, and then he got to walk out, but he wanted that 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so he said it. And, and as far as anybody knew, that was the first time he ever heard it. But, but uh, she, she believed in it. I mean, she never BS. She believed in it, something or else didn't say, she didn't say it. So... Um, so she meant that. So you'll read about it until the end of time. It's used quite a bit, it, and it's used in a, in a portion of where I try and help people. It's just an effort of mine, and it's not nothing, no opinions, nothing. It's just strictly experience, based upon experience. I came up with what I think is the uh, two key points of a romance. Until the end of time, don't start anything until you believe really that it's until the end of time. And then you have plenty of time to do what you want to do because it's till the, until the end of time anyway. Mm -hmm. So you've got plenty of time and it works. Secondly, now this is original as far as I know. I looked it up and, and as far as I know it's original. I feature in a very long chapter, probably the longest chapter in the book, uh, something called Selfless Devotion. Selfless devotion, and it's 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 I think it's a combination of the brain and the heart that gives you it. Some people have it, some people born with it, some people develop it, but an awful lot of people don't have it. And obviously, if you look at the divorce rate of fifty-one percent, if that's true. Uh, there are a lot of people that are, I believe, missing that. Because I believe with that, it would be half. I think that, that, that that's the bond in love. That's what sealed it. Selfless devotion. Read it. You'll like it. Well, we didn't laugh too much. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Whoa, that worked. <laughs> Okay, guys, I don't know if that's enough for today. There, let me see if there's Oh, yeah, there's one guy falling asleep there. I see that. <laughs> <laughs>